Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome to Zero K. Um A rather interesting little game, actually. My thanks to Hazerdan, who suggested it to uh, like uh, I think it was like two, three weeks ago at this point, as a potential mini series candidate. I don't know if it's gonna be a miniseries, because I'm not sure what I can do with it. Or so it might be, it might not be. But what we've got here is a RTS game, which is, strangely enough, free to play. And has quite a bit of variety of content, which is um, also interesting. In addition, it also features streaming economy um, in the style of that age-old classic Total Annihilation, or the more recent ones like Supreme Commander. Also, strangely, it features a survival mode <laughs> against the AI. So, a dedicated horde mode, which is actually kind of nasty. Where you face chickens. Not actual chickens, but you face... The AI that you face is called Chicken, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're facing hordes of alien beasties, which can be single-player or co-op. Right. Um, I think I'm rambling a little bit here, so I should probably get started doing stuff, don't you think? But yeah, as I said, this is a free-to-play. It's, it's supplied just by... Well, the DLCs are actually donation packages to keep this game running, and it is in active development and updates pretty regularly. There's been several patches this week alone, as of the point of recording. And... In the interest of trying to work out if I can do any solo content with it, um, I'm just going to be fighting the chickens <laughs> in this video and possibly another video, because um, this is a style of video that I want to get back to a little bit. So let's go into skirmish mode, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, survival, yep, um, I'll pick normal because I am a veteran strategy gamer. Famous the last words. I mean, I I had a quick look on easy and I couldn't survive. So normal. Mm. Okay, it's got a few maps, but it does rotate the maps fairly often. So I'm not sure what happens about that. Let's go with. Let's go with this one. This was a pretty basic one. I think. What should I go with over here? You know, let's go with the island. Let's strand ourselves in the island. So we've got a reason to try and survive against what's going on. So, start. Yeah. Mm. Also, another feature Zero K has, which is also kind of unusual, is it's actually got deformable terrain. Um, not It won't get deformed by the shells and explosions and things. At least, uh, I've not seen it do that. I've only poked at the very early game weaponry. But, since this is a skirmish, I'll have access to all techs. But you've actually got um, terraforming tools as well, which lets you um, make artificial terrain changes to try and adjust the terrain to your suit you. Oh, we've got... Ooh. Okay, um, I've got f multiple commanders. These are my ACUs. You don't lose if you lose your ACU, by the way. Then, survival. We got, the game for survival lasts up to an hour. Chickens are live slash killed, burrows are live slash killed, player aggression rating, so you lose points if you're not being very aggressive, and tech progress modifier, which I have no idea what that does. But I prefer to keep my commander back a little bit, so I'm going to switch that to... I think I'm thinking engineer. Nimble chassis that uses speed and jump jets to explore the map and avoid opposition, otherwise there's poor survivability. All-around chassis with decent speed and health can dual wield. Uh -huh. Guardian, a tanky chassis with access to a wide range of weapons hampered by its slow speed when you wheel. Focus on economy uses high build range and base build power to increase production. It has relatively poor speed and health. Right, so I can start here. I think this looks like a good spot to begin. I should mention though, by the way, that the chickens have... A a full range of units. They've got um, spiders, uh, they can climb up walls, they've got flyers, they've got diggers, which are rather nasty. Um, during my first trial run, I managed to survive until the first enemy digger turned up, and it's this worm that acts like a massive flamethrower. So, 
<laughs> and it also does massive AoE damage. Which, which is about as interesting as it sounds. But needless to say, my base kind of went boom after that one. Mm. Now I'm kind of looking at the terrain right now, because if I want to survive for very long, I need to try to work out where to put things, because we've got a lot of different options. Like, I'm currently slapping down some very early econ. I've got two matter metal extractors, I've got a couple of um, wind turbines to provide very basic power. The economy tree could be fleshed out a bit more, but um, one of the key things here is I've got caretaker units, which I'm going to put down, which is basically a building pad. It can repair things within range, and it's pretty darn good at it. The problem is it can't move. And it can't build things either, except for terrain alteration. But then my mobile builders have got defensive options. Look at all these juicy turrets. I love a strategy game that provides turret options, and this has got many. Ranging from a light laser all the way up to high output weaponry, gorse turrets, long range anti air missiles, anti air flak, torpedoes, gravity guns. Some of these things are special requirements. Well, there's only a single shield option. And then we've got the special tab, which provides even more stuff like uh, cloakers and jammers, radars, nuke interceptors, destructive rainbow projector called the Disco Rave Party. Um, I don't know what that is, but it costs 32,000 metal to build it, and that's a little bit outside my budget, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. And then we've got the factories. Each of these builds instantly. Five, six. We've got 12 different factories, and each of these produces different unit type, with their own strengths and weaknesses as well. So, I said there's a lot of variety here. I was not kidding. But anyway, the chickens, their initial waves are going to be just like, um, well, chickens. <laughs> so, I'm building this defense here, which I've learned is very useful early on. It's called an anti-swarm turret, Stardust. It, it's very rapid-fire Gatling-style turret, which can deal with large numbers of weak enemies at once. But it's not that good when bigger or ranged enemies start to turn up. So, let us build... We need to get something in the air. Um, I think there was a... There's some air, air options. Tanks, jump bots, spiders. Spiders are the wall crawlers, by the way. They can crawl over uneven terrain. Very nasty. Airplanes and... Ah, gunships. That's what I'm looking for. Wave 1. Chicken. Times 30. Um, yeah. Oh, they're coming in that direction. Go away! Ah! You see, no, they look nothing like chickens. <laughs> my only defense in this direction is my commander. In this direction, though, I've got that swarm of turret. Which is working just fine. Yeah, go away. And they're trying to... They're very good at murdering things, even at this base level. The only reason my gunship plant's surviving is because it's, uh... It's actually a lot tougher than most of the other initial structures. Let's actually start building. Give me five gunship builder units, please. And I'll also boost my commander. My first upgrade gives me radar and a light particle beam as my weapon system. And we got a nest over here. We must have. Because as soon as the wave spawned, we had a lot of enemies just suddenly pop in. Commander's dying already. This is already much worse than um, just normal. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we've got um, a lot of incoming from over here. You, build that, please. Uh, th this is why you want to have some extra stuff around. Because that turret is already taking some damage. Just one by itself is already not enough. Let's get some more defenses. I wonder if this um, game mode actually has cooperative mode as well, which I'm rather looking forward to trying out. Oh, oh wow, they're already here. They're, they're going to murder my defenses. Well, I don't have any defenses over there. That's part of the problem. Look at all this nonsense. Oh, jeez. By the way, easy mode, that initial wave is 12. 
The first wave on normal was 30. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I don't think I'm going to survive this. You guys go help out your commander, please. Forty-two more chickens coming in. I was not prepared for this at all. No, oh, I'm I'm also low on energy. I didn't. I have no econ. <laughs> I, was, I was not prepared for normal. Oh wow. Oh, at least I could manage to slam up a laser battery of sorts to try and stop them. But look at look at all this. They're just getting, there's large numbers of them getting rapidly clo too close. And the lasers aren't built for this, they can't stop it. My command's about to die. <laughs> and I'm dead. Ow. Right, so much for this um, trial slash demonstration thing lasting a single game, because I've, I'm pretty much dead inside of, inside of like 10 minutes. I've got to mention, by the way, they, they drop eggs, which you can salvage for extra stuff. Which can be all salvaged for extra matter. So you get a little bit of resources for killing them if you have some kind of salvaging unit nearby. Let's restart that. Oh, dear. Twelve, ten minutes, my pride as a strategy game is on the line now. I must do better than that. And by the way, this is just against the AI, which is dumb as bricks. It, it spawns pre-programmed waves and it murdered me. <laughs> oh, um, I, I, I kind of want to try the harder difficulties now. Anyway, I got sidetracked. Um, this is a style of video that I kind of want to get back into a little bit. I used to do these every once in a while. It's like a video showing off a game a little bit if, if I'm not sure what else to do with it. Just have a look-see at it, you know? Show off a little bit. Let's start over here this time. And that's the general idea of it. Right, so, since now I know how brutally murderous the chickens are, I'm going to do something here which I figured out in um, during my initial poke. This is the terrain alteration. I'm digging a trench because, quite frankly, I do not want the chickens getting to me. Because they are very dangerous little buggers. Hmm. I mean, I'm doing that even before I got econ. That might be a mistake, actually. Do that, and then I'll build a bigger power plant, a solar power plant, as well, which I'll put next to it. So, there is another feature which I've barely learned about, which is called overdrive. And that is, if I'm reading this correctly, yeah, small power plant plus two, medium power plant plus 25, power plant plus 35. Overdrive is a, an area effect produced by power plants, which can be extended, as, as I understand it, using energy pylons. So you must build additional pylons in this game. Well, you don't have to, but it really does help. And what that can do is, if I'm correct, income one plus 35% overdrive. Yeah, it can, the extra output can boost additional other things, like this one is producing plus 0% overdrive now. I think that's because my NG is not maxed out. Actually, yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. So if my NG was maxed out, I would be able to, I'd be getting an overdrive bonus on my metal extractor. Yeah, look, now it's producing an extra 35%. And that's because I've got these power plants. And some of the turrets and things actually require a minimum overdrive to function, I've read in the tooltips. Let's see, where, where's one? There's one. Ah, uh, here we go. Power by connecting to a 50 energy grid. A 50 energy grid. Some of the special stuff as well, like this. Uh, power by connecting to a 50 energy grid. What it means by a grid is it means an overdrive grid, which has um, a minimum rating of that amount. So, like. Um, I need an overdrive grid with at least 50 power. Wait, that, that's, that's, that's rotated. How do I rotate things? No. Uh, I, I, I don't have time to try and figure that out right now because the chickens are going to be turning up very soon. 
and my commander is whining about it as well. I should actually upgrade my commander as well because I need that upgrade. Uh, give me a builder as well, pretty please. Yep, here come the chickens. Oh dear. And here's me without a defensive gun. Um, here they come. Oh no, they're going to kill the thing before I can build it. Oh dear. Of course, one way to deal with these melee guys is... What I'm trying to do is by digging that first trench, you know? Use the terrain, stop them from getting to me. Like, I could, I could build something up on this, um, up on here. And they would really struggle to get to me. Oh, jeez. There wasn't a nest. There, there weren't any over there. They just... How did they get there? Oh, I accidentally built a missile to it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I think maybe I've been a bit too aggressive in trying to expand. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no, my my pride is a strategy gate. How did how did he get up there? Seriously, how did he get up there? Oh, at least we've got something holding them back. I guess that's good. No, my my platform is about. Wait, they're coming through the water? They can swim? Oh, this is my first time on a water map, by the by, but um, I am very unhappy to see that. Uh, level terrain. Level that section, please. My commander is almost dead. But yeah, I'm raising that just to close off that beach landing that they're apparently able to come through. Apparently, oh, apparently a couple of units can climb up onto this ridge as well. I'm going to be, I'm, I guess I have to use this ridge as a ready-made um, thing. Yeah, see, you can't get through there. Ha 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 ha. They can, however, get through there. Hmm. That's also slightly worrying. Right. The chickens, though, can't actually do anything to... Yeah, the chickens can't actually do anything to, to um, aircraft. These um, pigeons can, though. They can shoot down my gunship builder. Also, I don't have a dedicated anti-air, so I'm about to die again. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> my pride! My pride! No! Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. I'm dying on normal. I actually held out much longer on easy. <laughs> normal for quote-unquote veteran strategy gamer. Hmm. I guess that doesn't really apply to me anymore. Dead inside. I'm dead in six minutes playtime. <laughs> I think I died in four minutes before, so. Let me start. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, For a mini series, this is. I'd probably be, take this into the campaign or something if I was going to do a mini on this, but. This is free to play, as I mentioned. So multiplayer, this thing I think would go a bit nuts. Uh, oh, cooperation! You can give energy and metal, give units, and it invites to share unit control. Interesting. Uh, let's get my engineer back again. I could start over here, just just hide on this island, <laughs> but that that'd be that wouldn't be the best option, would it? It would cede the um, advantage to the chickens. And now I know to watch out for landing spots like the beaches as well. Okay, right. Let's deploy here again. This seems to be a nice defensible corner. If, especially now that I know about said beach, which is somewhat important. Um, deploy a gunship plant because I want the hover capability. And then I want... No, not geotherm power. I want uh, solar power. Give me a, a wasp, please. Just build those two and then help with that wasp. Because the wasp's mobility is going to be kind of useful. Let's be honest. 
So I want it out a little bit faster. Level the terrain. Got to close that thing off. So just... There we go. Close that. And I've got my wasp, which I'll send over here. Because I am, once again, cheating. Well, I'm not really cheating, but, um, you know. I am very paranoid about getting murdered. So, I'm digging, again, a very narrow trench. Here. I think I'm fairly sure they can climb up here as well. But at least I can use this to close things off. Okay, I think that's closed off. Oh yeah, that's enough for the water to get into it. Okay. I'm, I'm digging a moat. <laughs> that's, that's what's going on. I'm digging a moat. Uh, raise lower. Over here. Again, drop it only a little bit. Should be enough there. And then, if I go ahead and drop this part here, I should have a defense. Kind of. Yeah, get past that water now, you flipping chickens. Haha, -ha, I'm safe. <laughs> now watch them murder me. <laughs> they will, you know. They'll do their absolute best to murder me. Though the problem is that um, I also know that artillery types turn up after a while, too. Let's see. Um, let's level some terrain. I think it's this part that allows it to get up. Oops, no. No. I need to... I think it's up here that they can get, rise. So let's lift that entire cliff section up. Um, got a kind of trench. Hmm. I think I'm sealed off. Okay, here comes 30 chickens. We're about to find out. Let's also boost my commander up an upper level. Let's give him a particle and his radar. Okay, that, that's taking a while. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm like, I don't want to die a third time. My pride is on the line. Oh, look, they're, they're landing up there. Oh, look, they are trying to get through on there. Which means they're going to try and come down here, doesn't it? Oh, that's where that wave came from. There's actually a spawner out there. I see. And I think that has actually sealed them off. Oh, no, 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 no. They're getting... How did they get in? Oh, no. How did you chickens get in here, darn it? I thought I'd closed all that off. Oh, dear. Builder. Um, I need to check over here. Where are they coming from? How did they get in here? How are they getting through? How did they get in? Oh, there's one. No. Where's the breach? Where's the breach? Uh, oh, is the trench not... Oh, the trench isn't deep enough. Blast it. Fine, you know what? If that's the way you want to play, I'm going to build more defences. I'm going to stop you guys cold by building walls. Because I don't have much of a choice in the matter. Right, let's level the terrain. From here to here. Something exploded. That was my commander. <laughs> Blast it. Apparently, I didn't dig a good enough moat. Which is, once again, a glorious problem. I've already lost my commander. Flipping heck. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. This is... Um, I, I, apparently, I skimped a bit too much on the moat. I skimped too much on the note. I'm too much of a cheapskate. Fine. 
<sighs> I will I will survive longer than a few minutes in normal, darn it. I guess this is going to be a two-parter, uh, because I, I, I want to play for an entire hour on this. So I guess that sounds fair to me. Let's drop into here. Choose Engineer. Let's level the terrain with... Let's level the terrain in this entire area. So it's changing this a little bit, the grass is still there, but I want to get some econ up as well. So I just need to make sure to get a couple of those in. Because after all, I don't want to be caught out too much when the chickens turn up, you know? Ta -da. <laughs> it's all very peaceful considering I'm getting murdered by chickens. Right, that's a critical one. Close off that particular bit so that they can't get in through that hill. There it goes. But I also need to actually get all this sorted out kind of sooner. So I'm going to put down an auto builder, which will take care of a lot of this stuff. And then I'm actually going to start planning the walls around this place. I don't know, maybe this kind of terrain prep is not necessary, but I'm only going for a small area, at least to start out, because I don't want to get horribly murdered. Well, even more horribly murdered, you know? I just need to find the outer edges of what I'm doing, and then I can erect a much bigger wall around it. I will hide in my wall. Okay, so it went out to about there. So. My apologies. This is a strategy game. It's not a wall building game. Well, actually, wall building is very important. Let's build a height 42 wall. Sounds like a good idea. At least I think that'll be enough to keep the chickens out. <laughs> I'm so afraid of the chickens. It's ridiculous that I'm saying it like that, you know? It's like, I'm afraid of the chickens. The chickens are coming to get me. This isn't Zelda. Oh, here come the chickens. Um. Hey! Help, help build that, please. Need to get that thing out. I think I'm going to die again. Blast it all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this first part has been entirely me dying to the chickens. Hmm. I'm loving this, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm loving this. The fact that I'm getting murdered in a strategy game by chickens is something you don't get to say very often. Honestly, I think I had better luck when I just, like, tried to get some early defences up and then stopped them cold from there, you know? Command console activated. Okay, let's roll. Let's do this properly. He says before he dies horribly again. <laughs> 